What's up guys, it's the last Party here from Brothers in Arms World of Warships and today I have a game with my shores on the map Estuary and it is a standard battle. So, this is going to be a very good game, I hope you guys stay for the whole match. Uh, it's it's really, it started out slow but it, it ended up being a really intense and pretty close match. Uh, I was kind of hoping for a solo, solo warrior but... My team ended up pulling through uh, for me, and I pulled through for them too. So, anyway, going over matchmaking really quick, we have a few tier six battleships, uh, except for one Congo on our team. Uh, and luckily for me, as you'll see later in the game, there is no carrier involved. So that is definitely a plus. Uh, just some a lot of uh, tier six, tier seven cruisers. Not really many tier 5s and some destroyers, uh, let's see, 2 on the enemy team that I see. So overall it's pretty good matchmaking, pretty good representation of what you might see at tier 7. So since the first about 5 minutes were pretty boring, I'm going to skip ahead about 5 minutes into the game when I start doing some uh, good damage. I know that's what you guys want to see. You guys want to see how the shores performs. So, here we go. Here's a New Mexico. I already set one fire on him, and I'm looking to set another. While this Molotov tries to push our Aoba, or our Aoba tries to push the Molotov. Looks like they're doing the same thing. <laughs> so, looks like our Aoba drops Torps, which he does. See if the Molotov will avoid them. I don't think he will. Nope, he's going to take two of them, and I'm going to finish him off right there. First kill of the game. Not bad. And then he does minor damage to me. And my AO, but thanks me, and I say, you're welcome, man. <laughs> you're welcome. Anything to get a kill, I guess. <laughs> so while my fire is still burning under Mexico, I shoot off another salvo, and this is going to be another fire. No, just four. I, I like to call those like broken shells. <laughs> and of course, as soon as he repairs, I get another fire. So, so far, I've got three fires under my belt. And, okay, let's see. I kind of want to turn around. I don't like the position I'm in right now. Very close to the rocks, and I don't want to be exposing too much of my side. So, I fire my last salvo off on the Fuso and manage to get another fire. Just so you guys know, I am running Demolition Expert, and I also have the two flags, the uh, Arsonist and the Witherer flags. You can equip those in the port. Uh, so I believe my fire chance is about 15, 16%, something around there. So pretty good fire chance for this ship when it reloads every 8 seconds, and you have, you're have you firing 12, 12 rounds per salvo. So... The fire chance is actually very good. As you can see, I'm already up to 5 with only 42 hits. So, this is you're, this is what you're going to see here for the most part. Our, our team's going to be kind of going in a big old circle a few times uh, in our little cap. So, it, it does get a little boring and slash annoying too, but you just kind of have to deal with it because this is standard battle. I'm sure you guys are used to it. So, so far, the enemy team has lost one battleship and a cruiser, and we've lost a battleship and a destroyer. And I'm up to 37,000 damage. Now, th the thing with the shores is, since it doesn't have a lot of armor, it's not a very good ship to push with. So, you really have to stick to your fleet and, you know, be close to your allies. Especially because if there is a carrier in the game... Your defensive fire will it won't it won't necessarily save you, but it'll definitely help you uh, from not getting utterly destroyed by a carrier. So definitely stick to your fleet. Its AA isn't good. Its armor isn't good. So definitely stick to your fleet. Try not to be the one that's getting shot at the most. That's that's the biggest problem that I have sometimes because I am I'm more of an aggressive player. So I I tend to just want to go in and be aggressive and do a bunch of damage and not get hurt but you really need to sit a little bit farther back and and really 
understand what you're doing and make conscious decisions on how you to how how you can be most effective in your ship. So, I'm constantly trying to find a ship to shoot at. On Eshuar, it's a little bit hard if if you're sitting in the middle uh, where uh, where both the flags are because, as you can see, there's three big islands on each side, uh, each spawn that basically in, uh, prohibits people from shooting uh, shooting uh, at medium to longer ranges. So it's a little bit difficult, and there are some gaps like you see here um, in the mountains, but those are hard to pinpoint. So I do notice that this friendly or enemy Mutsuki was last spotted right around this corner. So I, I'm very, I'm being very, very cautious on how I approach this corner. So, and then the Pensacola comes out. And at this range, I'm definitely switching to armor piercing. There's no doubt. the The amount of penetration that I can get is absolutely absurd and as you'll see right here quadruple citadel <laughs> my gosh he's hurting a lot so the Mitsuki looked like he didn't pop around that corner which was good for me but just in case I'm going to launch torpedoes just in case he tries to do something silly and pops around the corner whatever so at this point if you look at the minimap I should really be turning around really quickly because there's two cruisers, soon to be a third, and I'm the only one there is to shoot at. So, you know, as you see here, I'm, I'm basically booking it. I'm like, I'm out of, I'm out of here, man. <laughs> I can't take. This is gonna be a lot of damage that I'm gonna take, and I can't afford it. This this ship does not have a lot of armor. It does not have the hit points to be taking all of the all the damage that these three cruisers. I mean, there's two Pensacolas and a fruit. Furutaka here, they they will do some serious damage. So, I'm one. I'm hoping that I can pen these Pensacolas at this range, but I'm I'm not having much success. So, right here, I think I'm a, I'm gonna switch to HE soon because I realize that they're gonna stay angled to me like they should. Um, and as you can see, they're they're also pen penetrating my superstructure, which is. Which is going to be part of my downfall here is that, you know, I my arm is just so bad and I can't I can't escape them. Now, here's the other thing is that you, you might have just saw there that all my battleships are almost all full health and they're all running away. So this is not looking too good for me right now. All I'm doing is just hanging on. And if you are if you don't like bad words, you might want to close your eyes a little bit here uh, <laughs> get a little frustrated at my team because you know like I said before they are they're just getting they're trying to find the quickest way out of here and that is away from our base and I find it kind of ironic that they say protect the base but they're running away but even at 10 kilometers I am still penetrating this Pensacola Citadel which I find to be quite good these 152 millimeter guns are quite good at range you can you can penetrate most everything uh, most cruisers at the same tier or lower and here's what I'm talking about uh, you know covering your eyes uh, <laughs> but you can penetrate most cruisers up to about 13 kilometers um, of your same tier so it's definitely definitely a good idea if you see a broadside cruiser of the same tier to go with AP but for the most part if they're angled any which way definitely go with HE even with battleships I haven't really experimented too much with armor piercing against battleships but I'm sure that within about 10 kilometers to a broadside battleship the armor piercing on this ship is just ridiculous if you shoot at the superstructure and here I pop my spotter plane Excuse me, sorry. Um, and I tried, I take some uh, nice little pot shots at the uh, Pensacola. But I soon switch focus to the War Spite because I see that he has a lot of health and I want to burn him down. <laughs> yes, I'm a damage horror, I guess you could say, but it's good for my team. 98,000 damage. Done already. Seven Citadels. 
eight fires as you saw right there um, and so this this game is it's coming down to an end it's it's really getting close they have the ship advantage and the point advantage and probably the better ship advantage too they've got a DD still they've got a few they've got a big cruiser advantage I'm only on 4,000 health so I really have to stick to the back and not get shot at and the funny thing is I lost so much health in a matter of five you know three minutes and I'm gonna go on for a good amount of time with only 4,000 health so we'll see how this pans out and I am going to let my friendly cruiser deal with that cruiser because I do not want to pick a fight with him at all I am very fragile at this point I am actually always fragile but even more so now that I only have 3600 hit points so this war spite stops and I managed to get two nice fires on him and he has three fires going all set by me so I'm definitely doing a lot of hurt uh, to him and unfortunately for me my spotter plane runs out and I can no longer shoot at him so I don't know what I'm still detected by here actually no I do it is the uh, enemy cruiser sorry in the top right corner of the minimap but I get unspotted by him so while those fires are burning on the war sprite I get high caliber there just a nice uh, nice addition and at this point in my world of warships career I just look at those as flags free flags so yeah and there we go witherer too that means 60,000 damage done by fire or flooding or you can have both um, so definitely a good game thus far 136,000 damage and I'm still sitting on 3,600 hit points and Again, here I question our battleship's capabilities because they just seem like they're doing everything to get me killed. They're, I don't know. They, they, it's just really frustrating. They have almost full health and they're kind of sitting in the back. So, I see my friendly war spite has grounded and as it's known in the World of Warships community, pulled a Notzer and I try to help him out and unfortunately I'm not able to and there I get my confederates. Woohoo! <laughs> Hopefully, no one shoots at me. But the Mitsuki probably smartly pulls a uh, pull, pulls his smoke, um, so he's not spotting me, which is a good thing. But he is also he probably can't see anybody, so that's also good for our ships. Now, here I was. I remember thinking in my head. What do I do? This is this is coming down to the wire here. Four to what? Seven ships? Four to seven? This is looking very grim for our team, and I basically tell the enemy team, I give up. I, I you know, I'm, I've done my best. You know, there's not much more I can do. But this was just a trick. <laughs> Uh, it didn't plan to be a trick, but I'm going to say it's a trick because why not? So, uh-oh, I get spotted by a plane briefly there, but luckily for me, I dodge all these shells, or most of them at least, and I am down to 2,500 hit points. I'm definitely turning away. I do not have the HP to fight a destroyer and a cruiser, so I'm definitely pulling away, trying to conserve as much AP HP as I can and just do the yellow torps and then the Mitsuki gets spotted well good luck brother see you later have fun burning <laughs> and this should be the kill right here bing bada boom two kills left or two kills for my record and only two and a half minutes left and the enemy for Taka shows up and I have a little over 2,000 hit points since he is showing me broadside, I am definitely switching to armor piercing while doing some shell beats. It's something that I'm creating myself. Not torpedo beats, but shell beats. <laughs> and there we go. Ten clown is weight, double citadel, and let's see if I can't get one more. 
still doing some shell beats and no just two over pens so hopefully my team can help me and finish him off and well looks like they can't but definitely switching to HE here Bowen cruiser uh, you know definitely want to set the fires which I believe I do here nope just one broken shell and then the Pensacola comes around broadside and I am definitely turning hard hard to port oh almost 4k damage to that Pensacola in that one salvo hopefully I can kill him in this salvo no oh my gosh so close 700 HP my gosh and then thankfully my teammates take him out 161,000 damage nine citadels thus far two kills and now I'm just hiding behind this island with a thousand HP left I <laughs> I do not want to pick a fight at all. I, I'm lucky I'm not getting spotted here, and I managed to get two fires on the furry taco. Um, and yeah, I, I'm just keep spamming HE over this mountain, constantly seeing where my shells are going so I can try to adjust and do as much damage as I can. The scores are really close. They're leading by about uh, 15 points. So hopefully we can kill this one of these ships in the next... 40 seconds before the game ends and I get him third kill all important kill right there puts us in the lead they had a seven ship advantage and to our four ship uh, four ships and this is what happened we collectively took them out and systematically took them out which is good this is a great example of teamwork even though I still feel like my battleships were Slightly on the useless side, but they still pulled through and helped me do damage to that guy. And then, oh crap, I get spotted. Worst time to get spotted. Five seconds left. I shoot. I shoot. Will it be enough? Okay, the game ends. Thankfully for me, the game ends. And we pull out with the win. So, this was a great game in my shores. I did a whole 160,000 damage, 400 thousand credits 8k base xp <coughs> excuse me 8k xp and let's see here i have a total of 2293 base xp compared to that to the second place person on my team i almost doubled his score so this is definitely a game for the books as one of the top uh top games that i've had definitely got witherer high caliber confederate all the good stuff and yeah that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed this shores game and if you guys don't mind liking this video and subscribing to our channel it really helps us out especially since we're growing and whatnot but i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you all have a great day see you guys later